Greetings everyone. Today I want to share again um, a very uh, short dream that I had some months ago. I think, I don't know if it was this year or last year, maybe it was this year. But some months ago I had had a dream after a recent event in Tennessee, which was a flooding in Tennessee. And it was something very quick that the Lord showed me and that he has, um, because the Lord has taught me about, you know, trusting the, I guess, the government's information sources, let's say. So, um, yeah, this dream was about, um, about uh, the Lord making me known that we should not trust um, our medias, especially American news, and it had to do with uh, with the Tennessee flooding that happened, I think, this year or last year. But this dream was shortly after I had read about that flooding, and so I saw in this dream I saw I was on top of a either a car or on top of a piece of wood and I was looking in front of me and I saw I was on top of water and it was daylight and there was a lot of black swirling water around me and I at first I thought it was the I was in the like the Japan tsunami but it was not that it was in Tennessee and I saw um, I saw houses on top of the water like in the Japan tsunami that's why I thought it was I was in the tsunami because the water was dark almost black like gray dark gray brown color and there were houses like complete houses on top of the water floating you know uh, wooden houses there were like it was like a mush, a mixture, a mush of wood and cars, and I saw a car halfway in the water floating, and it was the everything was floating slowly, and there were houses on top. So, and the thing is that when before this dream, oh, and also uh, when I saw all that, I was I thought I thought I was in the Japan tsunami, but the Lord let me know that I was in the Tennessee flooding. That he was showing me the Tennessee flooding that happened this year or last year, and it was very, it was very big, and it was unexpected, and the Lord uh, made it clear to me that the media did not tell the whole story about this flooding. So it was actually worse than what the news said, and that was the end of the dream. And before this dream, I had, you know, I had casually just uh, looked up news and I saw the the flooding. But I, I tried to search, you know, photos or footage of the actual event, you know, during the flooding. And I couldn't find any. Which was weird because the residents, you know, people said that it was something historic almost. And I saw the damage, you know, I, I, I could, in the news, I could only see the aftermath. And I could see cars overturn. I think if you search for the flooding, you may see the same thing. But I never, I was never able to see pictures or footage of the actual event, you know, when it happened. The, the media only placed the aftermath, not the event. And it was kind of weird to me at first because, you know, I thought, you know, the media usually likes, sens you know, sensationalism and they... They want to put big things, but why didn't they put... And I think the reason is because the United States does not want to... Does not want to accept that God is judging her like she's... When God judges her, I know this was part of a judgment from God. You know, the, the real ones haven't begun yet. Like the big ones. But they'll come very soon. But the thing is that I've noticed that a lot... I also noticed it in... The Tennessee flooding, you know, reporters talking about the flooding, and also about the 
of the recent flooding in New York where all the five boroughs were flooded um, and that was also historic you know historic things and people reporters all over the world and also in the US they're so um, selfish and prideful and and ignorant that they want to you know make God like a thing and instead of saying you know this might have been something that got caused or because it was historic you know it wasn't just a flooding it was historic it killed people at least in New York it did many people drowned and when that happened in New York and yeah, New York was completely full stop you know everything stopped you know it was full emergency I think the president had declared emergency um, situation there but people just actually attribute those things to climate change and say it's just you know some random things that happen but they're not they know in their minds they know but they don't want to tell everybody because then they don't want to give they don't want to give glory to God they want to give glory to the country to to and to humans you know uh, to humanistic ideas and to the government which is completely flawed and yeah they don't want to give God any credit not even for you know because people if people think that God is so bad or you know then why not at least mention him you know like oh God caused this which was true because God did cause that you know he allowed it at least but of course they say no it's just climate change you know we're gonna go back to normal you know and the US is very um has a is very um I guess talented in lying to its own people and also in defying God and saying that God didn't do this no no this was just he had this has a scientific explanation or you know the people you know when people uh, commit mass murders and they say and the vict and the the perpetrators say that a voice told them to do so the media will say oh it's just uh, schizophrenia you know mental condition everything is psychological and that's not true it's usually when they hear voices that told them to shoot people it's usually demons speaking to people not their own minds you know it's not a that's not a psychological condition that you can treat it's something spiritual that only God can treat and free the person from that so many of the things that America because America you know tries to redefine everything you know make a a secular ungodly humanistic definition of everything and instead of, and instead of saying you know calling things for what they are they just make up an Americanized definition and they sell it to the world like yeah this is the fact but it's not that's not true and that also applies for a lot of quote-unquote mental psychological physical conditions that are completely spiritual things and that's why no matter how much medication you give somebody it's not going to change even if it's you know um, neutralized it's still there so yeah, uh, the Lord is letting us know that, you know, on whom we should put our trust in, which is on Him. And after after this specific dream, I, I, you know, it's when I talked to the Lord and I, I made a remark. And I reminded myself that, yes, the Lord is my number one source of information. And that He tells me what I don't know what I should know and what I should correct about myself and you know if I should talk to somebody here he's the one that tells me what to do and sometimes I fail him because sometimes we ignore him or we you know like we think that he's um, like he's less important and sometimes and sometimes not but he is not and I thank him that he is always faithful to me and to his church so 
Uh, that was this all that I was gonna share. And later I'm gonna work on putting something else. I don't know if this is all for today, but I think that this all this is all that the Lord wanted me to share until now. So I uh, thank you for watching and if you felt to share then share it to whom the Lord leads you to. And I pray that you guys get more in the Bible and learn from the Lord. So thank you for listening and God bless. Bye.